Hey guys, it's Jillian. Welcome to or back to my channel. The books that I read in 2023. 2023, my year in books, I read 26 books and my goal was 20. 26 books and I am proud of that. That is a lot for me and I read 10,253 pages. If you guys want to follow me on Goodreads, I'll have that down in my bio as well, my description. First book read in 2023, I started off so good. I started off with a bang. I gave this book five stars, Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I still think about this book every single day. It's childhood, friends to lovers, second chance. And I, I just remember feeling all the feels, cried at the end. It is so, so good. Five stars, I recommend this book to everyone. I love it so, so much. This is my baby, five stars. The next book I read was Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I love Tessa Bailey. I read her last year and I just started reading like every book she ever came out with. So I read this at the end of January, beginning of February to kind of kick off Valentine's Day season. So this book is a grumpy sunshine, I think almost enemies to love her. And she writes um, little love letters and he doesn't know they're from her. So it kind of just builds off of there. I think at the time I gave it a four and a half stars, I would probably go down to a four and a half. And the next book I read was Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I love this book. I still love this book. Hockey romance, figure skater, me romance, if you know, you know. If you haven't read this book yet, I highly recommend. I know you've heard about this book. Go get it. Go get it. Next book I read was Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. I read this because everyone was saying that it's love in other words and i was missing that book i almost just reread it but i wanted to give this book a chance and i loved it i loved it but it's a carbon copy of love in other words it seems almost illegal so it's very good very cute i recommend it but yes it's basically love in other words just a little different i do i do love it though and then i read when in rums by sarah adams this introduced me to her and i love her now I gave this book five stars. Grumpy Sunshine, she um, she just needed to escape and she loves Audrey Hepburn. So she just found a small town and she wanted to go to Rome, but obviously she couldn't go to Rome. And then she ended up in Rome, Kentucky. Forced Proximity, Grumpy Sunshine. If you like Gilmore Girls, you will love this book. It's basically Luke and Lorelai and Chef's Kiss, five stars. I love it, I love it, I love it. Couldn't recommend it enough. But yes, it's just it's just a cheesy little romance and that's what I like. So five stars, loved it. Next book I read was my The American Roommate Experience, Forced Proximity. I'm gonna be totally honest, I don't remember anything about this book. I forgot I read it. I think they shared an apartment because she was staying at her best friend's. He came to stay at her cousin's, which is her best friend's. I don't, it was good. Now I would probably give it a three stars, two and a half, because I don't remember it. I think at the time I rated it higher, but yeah. I mean, it was good. I know it, it's just a cute little romance, but yeah, it didn't stick out to me. Nothing too special. Next I read Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This had just came out, and it's the companion novel to When in Rome. And in When in Rome, I forgot to say, Amelia was a famous pop star. Um... And so her bodyguard, Will, is with Noah's sister, Annie. This book is such a feel-good. It is so cute. Another five stars. Disclaimer, I am not a harsh reader. I read, um, I read little romances. Like, I, I don't know anything about writing styles. I don't know anything about literature. I'm not a harsh reader. Oh my gosh. Stop, that's so cute. Um, but yeah, I absolutely adored this book. I still also think about this book. I love it, I love her. Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune because I loved Every Summer After. I liked it, I would recommend it. I think I gave it a three star. I would probably go by like 2.75. I didn't love, they only met once and then all of a sudden like a few years later they were reunited and they were in love with each other and it was cute but I don't know they only met once they only hung out once so it was a little weird but it was a fun read overall I did like it but not my favorite but unfortunately yours by Tessa Bailey this is the companion novel to Secret secretly yours 
I did like this one. If you hear my dogs barking, I'm sorry. I can't get them to shut up. Um, I did like this one. I have reading amnesia. Like, I read a book. I love a book. Can't remember it a month later. This was almost a year ago, so I'm, I'm sorry. But, yeah. I liked it. I liked it. I know I did. Tess Bailey has the best romance, steamy romance. They're all so cute. Um, I know this is the Voss, or yeah, this is the sister of the male main character in Secretly Yours. I recommend these books. I think it is the perfect time to read them. The Summer of Broken Rules. This book, it's a young adult, but it is so cute. I don't normally read YA, but for YA, I absolutely adored this one. It was so cute, and it's perfect for summertime. I would recommend it. I gave this, I think, a four stars, just because I feel like it could have been more if it wasn't YA, but for YA, it was very, very cute. I read The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. I love Nicholas Sparks movies. They have always, always, always been my favorite. Um, since I was probably way too young to be watching them, but that's besides the point. My mom always had Nicholas Sparks all over her bookshelves, and we watched the movies together, so I decided to pick one up this year. Bull riding, cowboy romance, and then it also goes back to another couple, and they're older, and it goes back to, like, I think the 50s, when he was at war, and their relationship, and it's very very heartwarming. I love this book and I love the movie even more to be honest, which doesn't usually happen, but I did like the movie more, but this was also so, so cute. Then I read The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I wanted another Sarah Adams read. It was very cute, gave me everything I needed. I think I rated it a three and a half stars. It's about Brie and Nathan, a ballet dancer and a football player, childhood best friends, to lovers and it was very very cute he is uh, he is such a good book boyfriend loved him oh okay i read my babies this this series five stars five star series five stars for probably all the books five stars five stars five stars this series changed the trajectory of my entire life I I can't say, oh my gosh, I just loved it so, so much. I can't say anything better about the series. I love it, I love it, I love it. And Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates. I like Magnolia Parks, not as much as Daisy Hates. I love Daisy and Christian, five stars, and I probably give this one, I think, a three and a half. Um, yeah, I'm excited to finish the series. I still haven't, but I did love them. And then I read The List of Things by Emma Miller. I read Cherry. It was a fan fiction about Harry Styles on Wattpad, and I'm, I followed her on Instagram for a long time, so when she published her book, of course I read it, of course I loved it, four stars, black cat, black cat, golden retriever, football player, not cool girl, you know, you know the vibes, it was perfect, please go read this and support her, Emma Miller, go read this. I read the Hex Hex, X Hex, and by Aaron Sterling, and then I read My Roommate is a Vampire. I loved this one, I was cracking up. It is so cute, I loved Frederick. And I just love vampires, because I love the Vampire Diaries, so this was super cute. And this one was also very cute, witchy. They were both very good. Perfect, I read these in October for Halloween. I love them, and then I gave them both. No, I, I gave this one at the time of five stars. It'd probably be four now, but I do love it and I do think about it all the time. And then this one, I think I gave it three stars. I read Wildfire by Hannah Grace. Love this one, I love, this one actually isn't a hockey romance. I mean, he's a hockey player, but it was actually summer camp. It was very cute, I love her writing so much. Steamy, cute romance. My first fantasy, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. You know, I was a little confused throughout. I'm not gonna lie, I had a hard time picturing everything, but I do love Jax. Jax is all I have to say. If you like fantasy, you'll love this. It was just my first one. I, I wish I loved it as much as I know I could have. But yeah, I'm excited to finish the series. Okay, sorry for the quality change. My camera died and it. I also lost storage space, so I have to go through it. But I only have one more book, so I just wanted to finish it. Last book I read of the year was The Fine Print 
by Lauren Asher. I started the Billionaire Dream series. I love Rowan. I cannot read to read the rest of the series. Um, he owns, or his family owns, a uh, amusement park in Florida. So it's basically, it's basically Disney World, but it's not. Um, it's the Dreamland series. And she sent in an ang angry drunk application and he ended up hiring her. And so it's workplace romance. I loved it, super cute. Enemies to lovers, you know, all that jazz. I gave it four and a half, no, I gave it four stars. I love it and I cannot wait to finish the rest of the series. Just a girl in her books. Just a girly with her books and her iced coffee. Ice Chamberlain coffee with a bow. Are you kidding? This is the girliest thing you've ever seen. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I know it got a little messy there at the end, but it meant the world that you clicked on this video. I hope to see you in the next one. This is all the books I read in 2023. I cannot wait to start my reading journey this year. Um, actually, I did start. My goal is 30 books. I hopefully will hit it. I hopefully, hopefully will surpass it. Let me know what your reading goal is this year and let me know what it was last year and how many books you ended up reading. Um, I hope I gave you some inspo. I know they're kind of basic. I was just getting into reading. Um, so yeah, you've probably heard of them all, but you know what? You've heard of them because they're good. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you added some of these books to your TBR. If not, that's okay. Thank you for watching and I love you all. Bye. And now I have to put these all back on my bookshelf. Yeah, no one ever talks about the cleanup of a book video. No one ever talks about that.